All right, I want to talk about this hi-fi store in Germany that also sells wine. I want to talk about Def Leppard in 5.1, the new Sebastian Bach. Got some mail to check out and tons more coming up next. All right, 33s, how the, how the hell you doing? Hope uh, hope your week's been treating you well. Let's get right into this. I got these pictures sent to me from viewer Glenn in Germany. Check this out. This is a picture of a hi-fi slash wine store in Germany. Have you ever heard of this combination before? Hi-fi and wine? I guess it kind of makes sense. Have a few drinks, get the customer loosened up, then they'll spend more money on, on high-end hi-fi. Uh, Glenn said this is in the 8th century town of Wetzlar, W-E-T-Z-L-A-R, or Z-L-A-R. The place is called Wine and Music. They sell wine, music, coffee, spices, herbs, and they have a bar. It opened in 1971. Man, if I was in Germany, I would check this place out. It looks pretty cool, and I like the idea of combining alcohol with hi-fi. Throw some records in there, man, get your customers liquored up, and they, they will buy a ton. This is interesting. Some viewers have been telling me that YouTube is not showing them my videos. They're not recommending my videos. So if you don't want to miss an episode channel 33 RPM, make sure you hit that bell thing or whatever. That way you'll get a notification every time I upload a video. If you have missed some of my recent videos, I think they have been some of my best. I did a video last week talking about 10 well-known mainstream albums that were surprisingly censored. That video was a ton of fun to put together. A week or two back, I also did my latest installment of Vinyl Dens. It's probably one of the best Vinyl Dens I think I had done because this one truly represents viewers from all parts of the world. There's music rooms in that video I show from the US, from the UK, from Australia, and even Russia. I never had a Vinyl Dens submission from Russia before. So that was pretty cool. If you haven't seen those, head over to Channel 33 RPM page on YouTube or just go to Channel 33 RPM.com. You can see all of my latest videos there. Hope you dig them. All right, let's get into this. I got the mail coming up and I got a couple, well, one thing I picked up recently that I wanna show you. This is the 40th anniversary reissue of Def Leppard's Pyromania. It's actually a five disc set. As it says here on the hype sticker, it's got four CDs and, um, and one Blu-ray. Let me quickly show you because it's the Blu-ray uh, I was the most excited about. I'm not a huge Def Leppard fan, but I do love that Pyromania album. And that was one of the first records I got as a kid. I remember, you know, around 83, 84, that birthday, I got like Pyromania. I got uh, Maiden's Peace of Mind. I got Judas Priest, British Steel, and a few other ones. Anyway, it comes with a booklet. A lot of good info here about that era. I have one complaint about this book. It's the font is it's really small. I don't know if you can make that out, but the font is really small on here, so it's difficult to read in bed at nighttime with like a nightlight on. Uh, nonetheless, some cool pics, some cool info, some cool images. Then the second part is um, all the discs. So it's got the original compact disc right here remastered. The second disc on there, it has some demos for the album and some rough mixes. The demos, I was a little bit disappointed by them. It has like the demo on here for like Rock Rock Till You Drop and Too Late For Love and some other tracks, but the demos don't have vocals on them. It's just instrumental. But there are some rough mixes from the album, you know, with vocals on them. It's got the rough mixes of Stage Fright, Too Late for Love, Die Hard, The Hunter, Fool, and Rock of Ages, Coming Under Fire, Action Not Words, Billy's Got a Gun. So that part's interesting. I'm a real nerd for that in-depth 
stuff where you can explore the history of the record. I've been buying all those White Snake box sets because I love exploring the history of the song from the writing stage, the demo stage, to the album, and then eventually like the live stuff. I really dig that. Speaking of live stuff, we have a couple live discs here. This is uh, live in Germany in December of 83. It's fine, this disc only has six tracks on it. Rock, rock till you drop, Billy's got a gun, fooling, rock of ages, let it go, and wasted. Then it's got a full live show here. This is at the Los Angeles Forum in September of 83. This concert was previously released on the previous deluxe version of Pyromania. It might have been like the 35th anniversary or something. I can't quite remember, but it's a really good concert. Def Leppard, during this, during this phase, they were still a hard rock band dipping a toe, maybe even more than a toe in the pop world, but they still very much so had those hard rock roots. And the songs are played really fast on here, almost uh, too fast. But that was previously released. I can't recall if that German one was previously released. But the real highlight of this Def Leppard set for me was this Blu-ray. This Blu-ray has a few things on it. It's got the Dolby Atmos mix of the album, which doesn't really mean anything to me because I don't have a Dolby Atmos. Is that how you pronounce it? Atmos? A-T-M-O-S. I don't have a Dolby Atmos setup. But it does have the uh, 5.1 remix of this album, which is really cool. I have heard surround sound mixes of albums where it's... They're almost trying too hard. You know when you see a 3D movie and the 3D effects and they're so obvious, like there's a hand coming out of the screen at you just to demonstrate 3D capabilities of the movie. I know it's a lot of surround or quad mixes make it super obvious. Like you're listening in quad, right? Kind of playing up the novelty of it. This 5.1 mix is not like that. It's a really musical mix and the surround sound effects are there to serve the music it's really cool like in the beginning of foolin no it's too late for love when the background vocals come in the beginning kind of hear them behind you in the surrounds it's really good they also take advantage of that point one of that subwoofer so for example in photograph the bass drum is really, really, really punchy. I think it works really well. Also has a new stereo mix, which is a bit different. It's not like a day and night difference, difference from the original, but it's different enough. And it's got an instrumental stereo version, but that 5.1 mix is freaking awesome. I mean, it wasn't cheap. It reads the set retails for about $70 US, around a hundred bucks Canadian. So it's not cheap, but as I said, this album, means a lot to me because it's one of the first rock albums I ever really got into and I really dig it to this day. So this was totally worth it for me because I love that immersive experience. I wish they had more demos and that kind of stuff because I'm a total nerd for that. But this was a cool pickup. I'm happy I got it. The other album I've been listening to a lot lately is the new release from Sebastian Bach, Child Within the Man. I don't have a physical copy to show you because the record is silly expensive here in Canada. I've seen it for like 60, even $70. I'm not paying that much for a record. I might pick up the CD. In the meantime, I've been doing the high res streaming on this. Man, it is, I was pleasantly surprised because I wasn't a huge fan of the previous Sebastian Bach album, but this one is really good, especially the first four or five tracks. They're all good, man. What have I got to lose? Freedom is great. Hold on to the dream. The whole first half of the album is really good. Then it drops a little bit, but still good. I mean, this is a contender for maybe my favorite hard rock album of the year. In terms of Sebastian Bach's solo albums, it ranks right up there for me, right after Kicking and Screaming. I like Kicking and Screaming. A lot of people like Angel Down. I like Angel Down. Angel Down was kind of Sebastian's heavy metal album. This one leans more to hard rock, but it's really good. Great production, modern sounding, but with a classic hard rock vibe. And interestingly, this was mastered by the famous mastering maestro, Bob Ludwig. Apparently this was also the last album he mastered before retiring, so that's really cool. Anyway, I am gonna pick up probably the compact disc for the new Sebastian album. It's really good. If you haven't heard it, I recommend you check it out. All right, let's open the mail. 
this one came a while ago. This book uh, came from viewer Tim Tim Jerling. He's been a viewer of this channel forever. He also has his own YouTube channel. And Tim wrote this book, uh, Down for the Count, the YNT album review. YNT are a hard rock band from the San Francisco area, started in the 70s. They had a brief moment of fame in the 80s, and then they kind of fell off the radar. Unfortunately, they're often overlooked. And I never actually thought anyone would sit down and write um, an album-by-album album review of these guys, but Tim certainly did it. A lot of interesting and entertaining facts in here about the albums and the band. Tim previously wrote a book on his love for and his passion for the 8-track, so... Very cool, Tim, that you're keeping up with this kind of stuff. Uh, this is available on Amazon. I will leave a link if you're a fan of Y&T. Definitely worth checking out. Thank you, Tim. And I got a package here from DJ Trish. Trish Mullins. She does YouTube videos. She is uh, a long-time viewer of this channel. She lives in the New Jersey area. And she's a DJ. She's not a record collector. She um, is a compact disc collector. And occasionally she makes these burned discs and sends them out to uh, members of the music community. So Trish, thank you very much. She sent me two mixed CDs that she made. These are dated March 2024. As always, a huge variety of stuff on here reflective of uh, Trisha's personality. Everything from Kraftwerk on here to Carly Simon, America, The Beatles uh lily allen tons of different stuff that was well that was disc two this one is disc one and the mix is as eclectic and awesome as always got everything from della soul to joan baez uh, again craft work chuck berry trish mullins is the queen of uh, mixed cds she also sent me something else here that was very cool of course the letter I always keep the letters. She wrote, uh, Dear Frank, hello from across the pond. Is that really across the pond? It's like across the border. I'm not sure if it's really across the pond. Uh, it has been a while since I sent you anything, so here are some mixes and stickers you may keep or give them to your kids. I hope you are healthy and happy. Peace, love, and music. Trish. Awesome, Trish. And I hope all is well with you as well. She had some stickers over, including this one says New Jersey, the Garden State, some DJ Trish stickers, advertising her stuff, some skulls. I often put stickers on my cabinets out in the garage, so we'll keep these definitely. Trish, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to dive into these CDs and, and enjoy them. All right, 33 your thoughts on the stuff I showed in today's video. Let me know in the comments. Thank you again for watching. I will be back again really soon. Until then, keep on spinning.